Hey guys, welcome back. So it is time to glass our last aileron here. So I've mixed up, there's only one uh, tablespoon of our Z epoxy. Uh, it's just a finishing resin, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. And pretty much all I use is like an old credit card or store card and uh, spread it on with that. You can use a brush, I just don't have a brush. Um, and you want to get some, a semi-good brush if you do, because um, otherwise the little hairs fall out and ends up screwing up your nice finish. So, all right, so we're gonna get going here, and pretty much the only prep work I did is I cut a piece of glass here, and you want to make sure that it overlaps about a half inch or more on each side. And then I also cleaned my part the best I could because uh, it's been sitting around for over a year with all the uh, dust and everything in the shop. So, all right. So basically, you can see that it's a nice a uh, good fit there. And I'm only covering uh, one side at a time. I think when I did the first one I did both sides, but um, it, it just kind of ends up being a, a nightmare trying to get the parts to, or get the glass to go around the corners and everything and not stick to the other side. And anyways, just trust me, it's easier to do one side at a time. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is we're just going to coat the actual part itself. And I'll just drizzle it on. And we're going to try to keep it light. And also notice I put down a piece of wax paper if I didn't say that earlier. Um, it helps out because the stuff likes to stick. I'm a little heavy on the end there, but we'll squeeze you that out later. And we're going to wrap around our leading edge.
think a brush would probably be a lot better for this part at least. start kind of in the middle and work our way out. And so far we haven't had to add any resin, which is good. In fact, if you look at this side of the card, we're actually removing some, so... Okay, and so basically our seam is going to be along the front side when we put on the other piece of uh, cloth. So since that's right at the hinge line, nobody's going to see that and we'll be able to sand most of that smooth anyway. Okay, so for the most part we're done with this side. Um, I just like to get the 
edges a little um, wet so that uh, it's easier to cut um, and you don't end up with um, frays. So I'm just going to basically extend the wet edge out just a bit. Okay, pretty much done. Um, I was looking for any areas that uh, might be bubbled up or sometimes around the edges it likes to kind of do a little wave here, but uh, I'm not seeing any of that. So, we are going to allow this to dry. Looks like it's trying to do that bubble up thing right there, but I think it's optical illusion. So Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and come back when it's done so I'm gonna let it dry for um, a couple hours go do some stuff and then come back